Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers at Tigers Stadium. On the mound for the Orioles today is Mike Boddicker, whose record is 0-1 with a 4.50 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Bryn Smith, whose record is 1-0 with a 3.65 ERA. And so I think I'm going to have to get myself a new computer because the game that I recorded yesterday uh, totally crashed in the editing process and it looks like I'm having battery failure issues. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to order a new computer here very shortly and back up all of this data. And so my apologies for another game that is not going to make the video list, but it did happen and we lost. 3-2, to two. Dennis Martinez was totally dominating. Uh, the only player that touched him really was uh, Greg Brock, who hit a home run in the first inning. And then uh, we managed to scratch a run over the plate uh, later in the ball game. But we were really dominated the whole game by Martinez. And yes, we did have a robot race during that game. And because it did happen, I'm going to count it. And I will show you when we get to the, today's robot race uh, who the winner was from yesterday's race and we have a new contestant added in today and that is russ h so he is a new contestant added to today's robot race so let's go ahead and get it kicked off thanks for watching everybody like and or subscribe uh yesterday i did a uh, sports card uh opening for the first time in quite a while on this channel and that may have been the problem uh with uh, already having one video that I edited, but it's a, actually my most popular video that I've ever done. Uh, it's a, um, a hockey video of the 2020-2021 uh, Metal Universe uh, hockey cards. So I'm going to have it uh, right about here at the end of the game if you want to check it out, if you're so inclined. And if not, that's okay too. Um, we're going to get started with this game. Look at, oh wow, look at uh, Bryn Smith. He's been crushed by... The Orioles in the past 42 plate appearances is get uh, a 395 batting average against him. But this is a new Bryn Smith. He's turned over a leaf. And uh, he's been pitching pretty well so far. Uh, Dave Rucker will not be available today. So we only have one lefty out of the bullpen. We're going to have to use him wisely. And uh, yeah, Rucker took the loss, although he gave up um, an unearned run on an error by... Whitaker, and that's what really cost us the game. That was in the ninth inning. It was actually a really great game. I wish I could have showed it to you, but unfortunately, uh, no luck. Oh, uh, so this is not the lineup that I put in there. So let me just make a couple quick changes, and we'll get to the ball game. Uh, this is right. Batting second is Brock. Batting third is Hatcher. Batting cleanup is Dawson. And then Mayberry. And then Parrish. And then Gibby, Trammell, and Sweetly. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's take a look here at the official lineup rundown for the Baltimore Orioles. Batting leadoff and playing center field is Omar Marino. Batting second and playing DH is Alan Bannister. Batting third at first base is Eddie Murray. Batting cleanup in left field is Greg Luzinski. Batting fifth at third base is John Castino. Batting sixth in right field is Ken Singleton. Batting seventh at shortstop is Robin Yount. Batting eighth and catching today is Ray Smith. And batting ninth at second base is Wayne Krenchicki. On the mound for Detroit is Bryn Smith. He is making only his second start of the season. He's 1-0. That victory came in relief of a Jerry Uger performance. He has a 365 ERA. He's got 7 Ks and 12 innings pitch. Opponents are batting 352 against him. Uh, that's not going to cut it. Hopefully today he'll be able to mow down some of these um, lefties and switch hitters. And uh, his personal catcher is Bobby Ramos. We're not going to uh, use him today. Ramos is off to a terrible start. 
So Smith is going to have to deal with uh, Lance Parrish behind the plate. He tops out at around 89 miles an hour for his fastball. He's got five pitches. The only one that's any good is uh, the palm ball, which is above average. He mixes in the slider and some uh, off-speed junk to try to uh, fool the batters. But he hasn't been fooling anybody so far this season. Okay, there's the defensive alignment for the Tigers today. Uh, this, yeah, this is our typical defensive alignment. So uh, with the gold lover Lou Whitaker at second and Ricky Henderson, who did have the day off yesterday because he was listed as tired, he is back in center field today. And here's Omar Marino leading off. Omar Marino had two stolen bases against us in yesterday's game. So we need to keep him off the base pass as he drops in a base hit. Finds a hole there in right center field, and Marino is on first. And as I mentioned, he's got 17 stolen bases now. He had two yesterday, and uh, the former Tiger really uh, helped out his team yesterday against us. As Alan Bannister strikes out uh, swinging, there's one down. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray up next, ground ball to Lou. Lou's only play is to first base. Two down. As I said before, Whitaker had a costly error in the ninth inning that um, untied the ball game as the bull, Greg Luzinski, grounds out to third. So Smith gets out of the jam. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Here is the Tigers lineup for today. Batting leadoff in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting second at first base is Greg Brock. Betting third at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Betting cleanup in right field is Andre Dawson. Betting fifth and DHing today is John Mayberry. Betting sixth and catching is Lance Parrish. Betting seventh in left field is Kirk Gibson. Betting eighth at shortstop is Alan Trammell. And betting ninth at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. On the mound for the Orioles is Mike Boddicker. Boddicker getting some starts because of the injuries to the pitching staff. Um, Jim Palmer is one of the two pitchers that is on the IL. And so Boddicker getting the start today, his second. He's 0-1 with a uh, 450 ERA. He had five Ks in that first start and six innings. Opponents are batting 292. As you can see here, he's making his 24th career start with an overall 8-9 record, sub-4 ERA. Fastball, typical for this era, right around 90 miles an hour, topping out. Ground ball pitcher, uh, 48%. His slow curve is nasty, 89 rating. Uh, his changeup is his next best pitch. A Fosh ball. What is a Fosh ball? I don't even know what that is. I'll have to look that up and uh, have that prepared for the next game. And his fast ball, not the Fosh ball is um, garbage, really. Okay, there's the defensive alignment for the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, as you can see here, the left fielder and the right fielder, well below average ratings. That's uh, Luzinski and Kenny Singleton. So any ball in the gap is probably going to get to the wall. And um, Castino at third, gold glove winner. Um, pretty decent rating over there as Henderson leads off the game. By grounding up to first, there's one down. Here's Greg Brock had the home run yesterday, leading the team with three home runs. He hits a grounder to short, and Robin Yount makes the play. Two down. It's going to leave it up to Mickey Hatcher to get something going. He pops it straight up in the air, and it's caught in foul ground by the catcher. So we go to the top of the second, no score. John Castino leading off. Castino batting 323 with three home runs. Showing a little bit of pop this season as he hits a high fly ball to Alan Trammell. One down. Next up is switch hitter Kenny Singleton. Singleton sends it into right center field for a base hit. Hey, look at this. We have the... Um, the uh, new uh, lefty-righty statistics available now. So today was the first day that that's become available. 
and you can actually see what they're doing lefty righty matchups uh this season so far so kenny singleton on first with one down and robin Yao batting 390 versus righties it's a pop-up to whitaker at second and sweet lou makes the play two down catcher ray smith smith had three hits yesterday's game he gets a ground ball right to brock at first and brock steps on the bag and that'll do it for the top half of the second we go to the bottom of the inning and we have dawson mayberry and parish up here's andre dawson betty 273 versus righties ground ball to third and there's one down John Mayberry up next. Now, Mayberry's got a three-game hitting streak going on, and that's just, you know, playing every so often. So we're going to keep him in there until he lets us down as he walks. Once again, we'll take... Uh, anytime Mayberry gets on base, as a plus. It's either him or Reggie, and Reggie's been terrible after that hot start. Parrish base hit up the middle. That's going to boost his average up to 328. So first and second now, with one down, and Gibby, who is... Hold his ice. He's betting 204 versus right handers. Rips it down the right field line. There's a base hit. Mayberry scores from second. And it's 1 0 Detroit on the RBI single from Gibby. Okay, so here's a hit and run opportunity. First and second, less than two outs for Trammell, who is also struggling, but uh, he's a contact hitter. So you think he's going to put it in play? He does. In fact, he gets a hit. Into center field, Parrish scores. Maybe that'll get Trammell off the Schneid, and Gibby, for that matter. So first and third, only one out. Uh, again, a, a hit and run situation. So we're going to go with that again. Whitaker, not as good as Trammell at hitting and running, but consistent stats all the way around. Oh, he hits a ground ball right to second base. The only play was the first, so Whitaker will get an RBI out of that. And Trammell moves to second as it's three to nothing. Okay, so two down, Ricky Henderson up. Henderson batting 204, and he walks. There we go. Henderson on first. Trammell standing on second base for Greg Brock. And Brock strikes out swinging. Tigers get three on the board to take the early lead as we head to the top of the third inning with number nine hitter Wayne Krinchicki leading off. Krinchicki rips it into right for a base hit. Uh, hasn't the leadoff man been on each inning for the Orioles? I believe so. Omar Marino, he started off the game with a hit. Krinchicki on first. And the ground ball to Brock at first. And they turn two, a couple speedy base runners. And the Tigers get a double play. It's going to leave it up to Alan Bannister. And he comes through with a hit to right. So, yeah, they're, Smith is not fooling anybody. He's getting some decent defense so far. But he's uh, keeping the hits all to singles. Oh, no. Line drive. <laughs> Over the head of Gibson, off the wall for an RBI double for Eddie Murray. And it's 3-1, to one, just like that. I, I have this way of just jinxing everything. And then a line drive to right as Dawson snags it for the third out. We go to the bottom of the third. Orioles are on the board. 3-1 to one Detroit. Here's Mickey Hatcher. Batting 333 versus right-handers, and he crushes another hit to left. He is our team MVP so far. Now batting 355 with one home run. Dawson been a little bit of a disappointment. Hits a fly ball to center. It's pretty deep, almost 400 feet. But not deep enough. Hatcher holds it first. John Mayberry with one down. Uh, weak ground ball to second. That is a gimme double play. We go to the fourth with John Castino, Ken Singleton, and Robin Yount up. Castino leads off the fourth with a ground ball. There we go. Finally get the leadoff man out. 
One down for Kenny Singleton. Three for five against Bryn Smith. And he ropes that one right at Whitaker for the line out. Two down now for Robin Yount. Yount gets a base hit in the center field. Six hits now for the O's. With catcher Ray Smith up next, betting 185 overall. And a wild pitch by Smith. Smith on Smith crime as Yount takes second base. So he's in scoring position now for Ray Smith. And he hits a ground ball, almost gets through the infield, but Whitaker shows some range, tosses him out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Lance Parrish leading off the inning. He had a base hit first time through the lineup. It's one for five against Boddicker in his career, though. And he hits a line drive, frozen rope, into the bleachers in right center field. Parrish's third home run, and he's batting 339 now, two for two on the day. I feel pretty good about the comeback season for Parrish. You just have to remember to keep giving him uh, plenty of days off. And in fact, he'll have tomorrow off as uh, Gibby strikes out for the first out. Next up is Tram. He had an RBI single, and there's another base hit to right. Sixth hit for Detroit. We're not going to stretch that. Only a 30% chance. And um, our luck has not been good on the base pass this season. So Trammell at first, um, what is the steal opportunity? Uh, 70%, so we're going to say no for right now. We're going to let Whitaker swing away, and he ropes it to right, uh, center field, actually. Base hit up the middle, and Trammell goes into third. So we've got seven hits against Boddicker. I would not have thought that we would be able to have these type of sustained rallies, but it's first and third. One down for Ricky. We're going to hit and run. He'll put it in play. And he does with a base hit to center field. Ricky getting in on the action here with a base hit RBI. Trammell scores. It is 5-1. to one. Okay. Um, we are going to ask Greg Brock to at least get it to the outfield. Give us a sack fly. He's going to do one better. Oh, it's a line drive. It's going to be caught. I thought that was going to fall in for a base hit. It is going to be an RBI as Whitaker tags up from third and scores. We've got a couple three-run innings on the books, and you know we're sending them now. 77% chance to steal second base. I mean, those are great odds, but not for Ricky. Oh, he's got one. He's got one in the books. Is that number five? It is. So what is he, five out of 11 now? So we'll take a we'll take a stolen base from Henderson. And then Hatcher bloops it into left center field, falls in for a hit, Henderson scores. And do we want to go for two? Yeah, let's try it. We're 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 on it now. Oh no, Hatcher is thrown out at second base. Oh man, I really pressed our luck on that one. And so it is, we go to the top of the fifth. Don't forget, we have the um, robot race and the seventh inning stretch coming up a couple innings. Let's see if we can get Bryn Smith through one more. He's got a six-run lead now. Krinchicki leads off, and he strikes him out. Two Ks for Smith. Back to the top of the lineup with Omar Marino. Marino rips it in the right. Caught on a line by uh, Dawson, right? So that's uh, two down. And here's the DH, Alan Bannister, career middle infielder in the DH role. And he hits it right back to uh, Bryn Smith. It's a 1-2-3 inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth, 7-1 to one Detroit. And Andre Dawson strikes out. That's the third strikeout for Boddicker. He's given up seven runs on nine hits. I wonder how long they're going to keep him in there as Mayberry... Grounds out to first. It's going to leave it up to Parrish. He's two for two, and he strikes out. That's four Ks for Bodica. We go to the top of the six. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Player of the game. Wow, who would that be right now? Maybe uh, Parrish with that dong. Two for three. A lot of RBIs. But uh, I think we'll, we'll say Parrish is in the clubhouse right now. 
with the uh, player of the game. And Bryn Smith, we're going to have him go through the heart of the lineup. Oh, no, base hit up the middle. Seventh hit for the Orioles. And runner on first now for Luzinski. Luzinski batting 176 versus righties. And there's a base hit in the left. Uh, maybe I should have pulled Smith after five. We're going to keep everybody back, try to turn two. There's no speed on the base pass. Castino slightly above average, so maybe we can turn a double play. Oh, we'll take a strikeout. Now here's a double play opportunity. Ken Singleton with his 62 speed. One down. And a ground ball to first. That should be a double play. There we go. Nicely done by Smith. I think we're we're going to yank him out of there. And uh, Boddicker seen the uh, clubhouse now. He's back in there taking a shower, cleaning up. He sucked. Mark Brown is a new pitcher. I don't know anything about this guy. Uh, this is his uh, fourth game. A 4.15 ERA. 4 Ks in four and a third innings. Given up eight hits. So so far, he hasn't shown much in the majors. He's got a fastball, again, right around 89 miles an hour. Average ground ball pitcher. His changeup is his better pitch. And uh, his fastball's in there at 71 rating, so not great. Overall rating was an 80, though, I saw. So, I mean, he's got some effective years ahead of him. As Gibby leads off with a walk. So Brown coming in and... Uh, Walking the leadoff man. That gives Trammell a chance to drive it deep to center, but not deep enough. 332 feet as one down. Sweet Lou rips it down the right field line over the first baseman's head. Gibby goes to third, and it's first and third with one down. Here is Ricky. We're going to have a go on contact. So if Ricky puts it in play anywhere, that should get the run in. Oh, that isn't going to do it, though. Popping it up on the infield. There's the second out. So it's going to be up to Brock to drive in Gibby from third. And he hits a weak ground ball to Castino. Who boots it? Everybody's safe and a run scores. Orioles are giving us the... Uh, the victory today pretty easily we'll take it so first and second for Mickey Hatcher and Hatcher hits a ground ball too short and that'll do it Hatcher goes to uh, two for four on the day so we go to the top of the seventh and um, respectable performance from Bryn Smith we are going to bring in Tom Hume, who has really become our, um, our mop-up guy. We're up six runs, seven runs. So we'll use, um, we'll use our setup people. Um, but he's pitched well. Eighth game, two ERA, nine innings pitch. He's had four strikeouts. Opponent's betting 267. And um, if he does well, I'll just have him close out this game. He'll just be unavailable for tomorrow. Robin Yount leading off the inning, striking out 1K now for Hume. Ray Smith up next. Tapper back to the mound, a little nubber. And Hume tosses him out. Two down, here's a tough out, Wayne Krichicki. Betting 269 versus righties. Last year he crushed them. I know he's in the top 10 in batting average. And then Marino hits a ground ball to Hatcher, and Hatcher makes the play. He's still errorless this season. Unbelievable. Okay, it is time for the robot race. And before we do the robot race, I will show you who won yesterday. There it is. Don T, in his first attempt, was in the uh, outside lane and uh, came from way back to win. So Kent... And Don T are the first two uh, entries into the contest to win a Hall of Fame autograph by a pitcher. I'm not going to tell you who it is yet, but uh, I'll, I'll let you know before too long. Let's pull up the race. Here we are. There's our contestants for today. 
Uh, in the near lane, we've got Dave K with his eyes on top of each other. James K. We have uh, Freddie C. Can't see his name, but he's right there. We have John M. right there. Diamond Princess. And finally, Russ H. with the uh, jukebox robot. Okay. As always, we're going to count down from three. And we'll start the race. 45 seconds on the clock. And here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa. Diamond Princess head just popped up. Taking their lead. Dave stacking his eyeballs. Pulling ahead. James K. Freddie C. Falling way behind. Freddie's got to work on the cardio. James is just strutting. Diamond Princess held the lead the whole way so far. John M. pacing her. Russ H. falling way behind. Okay, here we here comes uh, Freddie C. Ten seconds to go. Someone's going to come from behind. Is it going to be Dave? Dave? Oh, no! Here comes Russ from way downtown. This was like yesterday's race as Russ, the new entry, pulls ahead for the victory. And he doesn't know when to quit. He should keep going. Good job by Russ. We will come back with a, another race tomorrow. Let's uh, do this and this. And uh, we will come back to this, and we're going to put Russ H. down here in this bracket. Okay, Russ H., you're in there. Close that down, and we'll get back to the game. Congrats to Russ and to Don T., who won yesterday, although he, we uh, unfortunately could not show it. Andre Dawson leading off the seventh against Mark Brown. Still in there. Brown had a pretty decent inning after uh, walking the leadoff man. And then Casino, Casino's error allowed a run to score against him. Dawson pops it up. He's 0 for 4 on the day. We might have to give Dawson a day off. He is really struggling. Uh, Mayberry up next. And he pops it up on the infield. Murray makes the play. One down, two down. And then Lance Parrish. Oh, there we go. Is that his second dong of the day? A double dong as Parrish puts it into the right field bleachers. And it's nine to one. That's Parrish's fourth home run on the season. I'll see him get another shot, but that would probably entail Baltimore coming back. And we don't want that, so... Gibby pops up. We go to the top of the eighth. Here is Tom Hume. He's going to face Bannister, Murray, and the Bull. Bannister leads off. Popping it up onto the outfield grass. Says Trammell made the play. There's one down. Eddie Murray up next. Strikes out. Two Ks for Hume. And here's Bull. Bull in his uh, White Sox uniform. And that 1982 Topps card hits a high fly ball to center. That's going to do it. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. We have Trammell, Whitaker, and Henderson do up. Trammell has a couple base hits today and an RBI. Popping it up to second base. Krenchicki makes the play. One down. Oh, a walk to Whitaker. He buzzed the tower on him there. Whitaker on first for Henderson. We're going to let Henderson swing away. One for three on the day. Stolen base, and he walks. So they pull Brown as he was getting wild. They're going to bring in Quiz, Dan Quisenberry. He is the closer on this team. It was Tippy Martinez, but they traded him uh, after they got... Uh, Quisenberry from the Royals in the middle of the season last year. So his fifth appearance this year, he's 0-1 with a 5-0-6 ERA. Only one strikeout in 5.1 innings pitched. And people are crushing him too. 391 opponent's batting average. He's 2 out of 3 in save opportunities, which this is not. 
Oh, he's a sight armor. That's right. I forgot about that. Just like our boy um, Kerrigan. And one pitch, and uh, that Quisenberry gets Brock ground into double play. I guess that wasn't one pitch. Wait, did Quisenberry throw a knuckleball? I do not remember that at all. Okay, we go to the top of the ninth, down to the final three outs. We're keeping Hume in there, although he uh, Casino does have a home run against Hume in his career. Oh, line drive, base hit up the middle. For Castino, he's now two for two against Hume. Up next is Kenny Singleton with a runner on first. And he strikes out. Three Ks for Hume. Next up is Robin Yount. Yount pulls it to third. Let me a double play to end the ball game. And it is over. Great job by Hume going three. He will get a save for that. Going three innings. One of those weird anomalies in the rules for saves. Tigers win 9-3. to three. No trade offers. Take a look at the standings. And um, we maintain our half-game lead as New York is 9-1 and one in their last 10. So they are turning it on. And Milwaukee, who really was struggling, has actually jumped ahead of Toronto now that Toronto's lost Dave Steeb for three months. Let's take a look at the National League. Why not? National League, it's St. Louis and uh, basically a three-way tie in the West. Transactions. Only one of note, and that's Gary Hannes. He's a starting pitcher on the Dodgers. He's going to miss a couple weeks. Missed a few starts there. Player of the game. Well, let's take a look at yesterday's box score real quick for those who uh, want to uh, know how that played out. Jerry Udra, as I mentioned, pitched really well. Uh, we gave up one run in the first. We got those two, and then the Orioles came back, tied it up, and then they won it in the 10th. I thought it was the top of the ninth, but that works as well. And Brock had the um, home run, and he was the player of the game yesterday. And then today's box score, Parrish easily player of the game with the double dong, giving him four on the year. Yeah, plus he had three hits. Brent Smith goes to 2-0. and oh. This is a whole new pitcher. And Tom Hume does get the uh, three-inning save. It's kind of a rarity. Boddicker really struggled, giving up seven earned runs. In five innings. 0-2 oh, on the year. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow. We, every home game, we are going to have the robot race. So stay tuned for that. And then, uh, as I mentioned, right about here is my um, hockey card video in which I uh, loaded yesterday. It has actually become my fastest viewed video uh, that I have. So thanks for those who watched that. Until tomorrow, everyone, have a great night.